Well, fellas, 2024 really jump scared me because yes, not only do we have a ton of actually good monitors for the first time in God knows how long, but yes, also it's looking like the TVs coming out this year are potentially going to be contributing to the scariest year ever for our wallets as they are looking really, really good. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's coming out here. First, starting off with the LG C series as I'm a PC gamer at heart, guys, and that's why we're gonna be taking a look at the 42 inch C4. I wanna talk about the upgrades coming in 2024 to the C series. Not only are we gonna be getting finally 144 Hertz, but it sounds like the brightness will once again be getting improved. I think significantly this time, but only time will tell. I will have it in hands for review very soon. Now it will still fall short of the 55 inch and certainly the MLA G series TVs. But if you're in the market for a 42 inch 4K 144 Hertz, TV for PC gaming, I think this is going to be a really, really good option. Now, it is kind of expensive right now, and I do suspect it will drop in price, but regardless, I will have Amazon affiliate links to all of the TVs I talk about today in the description below if you want to go ahead and get them on day one at that premium price. And I know a lot of you out there who are more into the quantum.oleds might not understand why people are gonna buy this in 2024, but we do have to remember that not only are there people who do really enjoy that 42 inch size, but also I do actually like the subpixel arrangement better out of WOLED. I think it leads to a slightly more clear image, not vastly superior, but a little bit better. And also we do have the better finish on these displays. These monitors or TVs, whatever you wanna to refer to them as, have an absolutely insane finish. Not only is it like midnight black all the time, but it's a glossy finish as well. This is essentially as good as it's gonna get. If you want an OLED, but you are in a brighter room, this might be a better option than quantum.oled because it won't light up magenta, at least it hasn't on the previous year's models. But enough shooting ropes of the 42 inch C series, which by the way, they have the 48, 55, 65, 77, and 83 as well. Let's move on to the G series. I do suspect that this will actually potentially be the display of the year. Now it's gonna be very expensive and of course it's 55 inch plus. So for those of you out there looking to use this as a PC monitor, you do have to be willing to wall mount it and move your desk back. But for console gaming and general movie watching or TV watching, this will also be excellent and everything that i've seen from the g series this year it seems like they've just been listening to our feedback and fixing everything the game mode brightness apparently has been fixed we're moving up to 144 hertz which is again excellent for pc gaming and of course we do get what's likely to be the brightest oled in 2024. And this is another one I do have coming in for review over the next week or two. Look out for that as I will be posting it. But regardless, I have very high hopes for this display and it is gonna be the one that I suspect I will be moving to full time for my PC monitor as well as personal content consumption. And this is available on Amazon right now. Affiliate links in the description below for the 55, 65, 77. It looks like maybe the 83 inch is no longer available at this time. Then we have to talk about the QLED 8K QN900D. Now this is another one which is actually shocking me this year because this is gonna be an 8K mini LED TV. We've seen this many times before. It's very, very expensive. So this is for those of you out there willing to drop a lot of money on a display. But if you are, this is going to be potentially the best 8K display on the market in 2024, I mean, I've had a very good experience with the 800C and I've seen footage of the 900C and it seems like in terms of mini LEDs, these are a lot better than the lower end 4K models. Of course, they do come at that premium price, but this year, what makes these so interesting to me is not only are they gonna be apparently, it seems like 8K 120 Hertz native, which is really, really awesome, as that means on PC with the use of display stream compression, you can get that native 8K resolution at a high refresh rate, but also it sounds like 4K 240 Hertz is coming. That is insane. This I think will be an all around really great display for movies, TVs, console gaming, as well as I think especially PC gaming. If you have size for the 65 inches and your wallet can take it, well, this could be a very 
very interesting display. And of course, we do also have the QN800D. This is gonna be a step down. Maybe it'll have a little bit less local dimming zones. Maybe the refresh rate won't be as high. Maybe it won't be as bright. I don't have enough details on this at this point in time. However, I will also have it linked in the description below so you can take a look at it as it is far, far less expensive, although, still pretty pricey. And then finally, I wanna talk about the S90D. Now this one to me is very interesting and I'm torn on it because this very well could be once again, an incredibly good TV for not only everything you'd use a TV for, but also PC gaming like the S90C. But I'm a little bit worried because there's been so many reports of conflicting information on whether or not these are actually all gonna be quantum.ola displays. The last thing I wanna tell you guys to do is go out and buy something that we don't even know what it is. So I will have it linked in the description below. And this very well could be an excellent improvement over the S90C, which is, Honestly, one of the only TVs that you should have even been buying in 2023, the price to performance on that thing was absolutely insane. The color volume, insane. The contrast, insane. And the brightness, absolutely smoking the Well C series from LG at a similar, if not lower price for a huge amount of its lifetime. I mean, the S90C, that's what I'm using to record this video right now. I got it for just over $1,100 after some discounts on Samsung's website just crazy value. So I hope the same does turn out to be true with the S90D. I have high hopes for it, but I am very, very worried about it potentially being mixed in with some W OLED displays, not even MLA, regular W OLED. So I really hope that those reports turn out to be false. And this is another banger because boy, do we need it and the TV and PC market. So there you have it. Hopefully that helped you guys out. If it did, once again, I will have Amazon affiliate links to all of the 2024 TV models in the description below, as well as a ton of monitors if you'd prefer to have a smaller size display. And of course, if you do have any questions, be sure to throw them in the comments below. And I do also answer a ton of questions in the Discord, which you can get access to in the Patreon links also in the description below. But that's gonna do it for me today, guys. So I hope you held it in because I'm gonna go bust one out to all these 2024 displays.